good morning or afternoon, depending upon where you are. Um, my name is Tanya Stevens with uh, 50 is Not Old, and I'm coming to you today to show you my morning skincare routine. I've been coming on Fridays and doing a video for everyone, and it's been requested to do my skincare routine, and I kind of held off a little bit because I actually am a consultant with this company, and I kind of felt like people would think that I'm only doing the routine to get you to purchase from me. And that's not true. Um, the reason I started with this company is because I wanted better looking skin for myself and I want better looking skin for you also. So I'm going to be doing this routine and hopefully if you are interested, though I do hope you will purchase from me, oh, duh. But um, I'm just going to say this is my routine. So this is how I do it. That doesn't mean it's written in stone. That doesn't mean that's how you have to do it. Or it doesn't even mean that that's how other people who use the same products do the routine. This is what works for me and this is how I'm gonna show it to you. So I'm starting with my favorite regimen and it is a regimen because it is step one, step two, step three, step four. So there are four steps in the regimen and when you purchase a regimen from uh, Rodan and Fields, you actually get four steps and they will be labeled like step one. So they will be labeled step two. You don't have to worry if you are uh, using the correct products in that particular order, they will be labeled for you. You don't have any worry about that. The formulation of the product, the amount you need, I will show you the amount and the steps you need to use it are in already done for you. All you have to actually do is get it out of the drawer, get it off your counter and use it. Because like anything, whether it's a recipe for baking bread, you actually have to do the steps called for, use the right ingredients in the right order, in the right amount, and you will get bread. If you do not use your products correctly, you don't get the results you want. I don't want that for you and you don't want that either. So. I'm going to show you what I use, and as I said, this is my morning routine now. I hadn't been doing it uh, recently just because it's been summer, and I've had either a real tan, a fake tan, a spray tan, etc., some kind of a tan, and I've been trying not to erase my tan, and since this product is specifically formulated to help you with sun damage, uh, sunspots, age spots, freckles, um, can't even say that word, melasma. Anyway, it's the darkening, the coloration on your skin. This will help to fade. This is what it does. It addresses that concern. This will help to fade that, that from your face. So I didn't want to use it in the summer because I liked a little bit of tan, but the problem with that is there comes the age spots back or the sun damage, etc. Even though I use a sunscreen. Um, and now it's time for me to start back up on my routine of cleansing my face and using this product. So this is called Reverse. It is reversing the sun damage. Uh, reversing the dullness that comes with aging because whether you know it in your hair and in your skin etc as you age you get dull thanks appreciate that another thing to have to deal with when you get older so uh, I started with this when I very first became a consultant so that what's why I say this is my favorite routine is because because of this routine is why I became a consultant I saw results within two weeks I saw my sun damage fading. I saw, and with products I had used before, it had never happened before. So I signed on with Rodan and Fields to become a consultant because I knew I'd be using the products for the rest of my life and I wanted the best possible price I could get for them and that was be, being a consultant. Uh, let me grab a oh, uh, gauze pad. Sorry, I didn't have one though. I'll need that in just a minute. But anyway, so I'm going to start with step one. Now, this is my travel size regimen. This is not a true size regimen. The real size regimen will come in this size, but I was out until my new one comes in. So this is the size that was the travel size. 
this is what you really get. So you can see that's a big difference. This is my redefined, this is my reverse. But I'm using it while I'm waiting on mine that I've got ordered to come in. So what I'm gonna do is I am just barely wetting my face a tiny bit. And then I'm going to use my reverse in about the size of a quarter, nickel, quarter, whatever, just enough to cover my face good. And it is an exfoliating wash. My face is already clean. So this is not like a makeup remover or anything like that. This is just more like a cleanser that is going to prepare your face for the next step. It has got a very gritty texture. So especially if you're first starting off using re uh, reverse for the first time, you do not want to scrub hard and irritate your skin. You just want to lightly scrub and remove the grit, the nasty, the dead skin cells, etc., from your face. So you just simply use reverse. Woo! I went, what happened? Dang. I have no idea what happened. But anyway, you want to, uh, it was kind of like a white out, not a black out. You want to use your wash uh, very lightly and gently, and then you just want to wash it off. So whether you use it with just splashing water on your face or use it like I am right now with a washcloth, clean washcloth to remove all the grit, that's what you do. So I'm just making sure most of the grit is gone. And then what I usually do is use the other half of my washcloth, which is dry, and I go ahead and dry it off. I get rid of all of the uh, grit off of my face. So now I'm going on to step two, which is the skin. I'm using the um, lightening. So I'm using lightening because reverse comes in two different regimens. It's either a brightening or a lightening. I started with brightening. That was my very first one. Brightening and lightening are the same with the exception of brightening is more like an entry level. Lightening is when you have really, really stubborn uh, spots that won't come off. So after you have done the brightening, you might want to graduate to lightening if you have some that are stubborn. With that said, there are certain spots that this will not affect. In other words, if it is a mole or if it is something in that nature, it's not gonna come off. It's not, it's not a superficial issue. It's not something that you've gotten because of sun damage. It is something that is actually part of your body. So you're not gonna get that off. Uh, I'm just, I wet my thing with a small amount. I use these pads because they do not soak up the uh, the toner the toner is actually going on my face and i use them because of a cotton ball a cotton ball soaks all the soaks all of the product up instead of it getting on your face so that is on on my face and i'm letting it dry i also am going to use my active hydration this is the new product body replenish you can see how big it is it's a huge huge jar while that's drying I'm going to put this on my arms. I would put it on my arms, on my chest, on my legs, etc. I'm not going to subject you to all of that, but you can see, maybe you can see how creamy this is. I just opened it yesterday. So I'm taking a small amount. I actually probably use way more than a lot of people do because I have really, really, really dry skin. So I'm just applying it and I'm going to do a very small amount because as I said, you don't want to see me rub this all over my body. So I just put it on, rub it in. I would go up my arms, up my shoulders, chest, etc. But while I'm waiting on my face to dry, which it has dried since now, I'm putting this on. This feels fabulous. This addresses the hydration in my skin. It replenishes the hydration in my skin. And for someone who has had extremely dry skin, I'm talking extremely dry skin, this has been like a game changer. I love this product. It's probably, it, it possibly 
is my favorite product because as I said, I have such dry, dry skin. So now I'm gonna move on. If you notice, this was in the silver. So anything you see in silver is in the enhancements line. So you would, if you are shopping, you would look under the enhancements tab. The reverse products, you will find under the reverse tab. Um, anyway, this is active hydration also, but this is a bright eye complex. So it's listed as active hydration bright eye complex. It is a serum, or it's, no, it's not, it's a cream. Uh, I will be using the serum in a minute, but the bright eye complex is what goes to the eye. The active hydration serum goes on the rest of your face, but not on the eye. So, I mean, tiny. See how tiny that dot is? Okay. So that is what I'm putting, and I'm just tapping it along my under eye. That addresses um, darkness, puffiness, circles, stuff like that. Now I'm going to use my same thing, silver. This is active hydration serum active hydration serum if you're ever using any serums serums always go before creams so you noticed i put it after step two in my regimen this is a serum this watch the top this comes in a whoops see how it does that that gives you the perfect amount of product see it already in the dropper this perfect amount of product and so i'm going to use just a tiny bit tiny bit and put it on my forehead. Oops, cute. Well, ladies, you might have noticed that my hair miraculously dried between me putting on active hydration and, whoops, dry hair. So I have no idea what happened. I was doing my video, doing my face routine. Had no idea until I went back to watch it yesterday to put on the blog for Friday. And it was just gone. It just stopped. I didn't know it. It kept going on here on uh, my camera, but evidently it was gone. So anyway, I'm going to continue my routine. So let me put my band back on, and then after this is done, I will fix my hair. Maybe I'll video that also. So anyway, back to the Active Hydration by Rodan and Fields. And yes, the little lid does give you the pre-measured amount in the dropper. And I do take a little bit and just go all over my face with the serum. Serums are always applied before creams. So I have I don't go to my eyes. That is where the active hydration bright eye complex is put. So I put that, go down my neck. And if I have a tiny bit left, I'll do the back of my hands. Don't want to lose any of it. So I rub it in, you know, maybe go down my chest, whatever. Rub it in good. It's just, it's tacky, but it goes in really quick. So while that is seeping into my skin, and I can't remember what I had said on where it cut off, so I will say that active hydration, in case I, if I've already said it, sorry, active hydration will infuse moisture, it pulls moisture out of the air into your skin. So it pulls it from the air even into your skin, not just what is on, on in the liquid itself and it will hydrate your skin up to 200% before what it was. So anyway, now I'm going on to step three of the reverse. Oops, got some on my hand. And this is the skin lightening treatment. If you are using the brightening treatment, remember mine is the lightening treatment. If you're using the brightening treatment, you will come with two smaller tubes and you mix the two tubes together I usually did it in my palm of my hand or whatever. Put like a pea size, pea size, mix them together and then apply it. So they, they come that way because the ingredients are not supposed to be packaged together. Um, 
so they come separately. So this is just a tiny little amount, little piece size once again. Just rub it together and remember it's on top, creams on top of serum. So the cream goes on second afterward. And with all products, you do not put them near your eyes. That is for specific eye products only. So while that is seeping in, because we have a lot seeping, while that is going into my skin, what I will do is, and I wiped my hands off, is I will go ahead and use my multifunction eye cream. This is also known as eye crack, and the reason is, is this stuff is amazing. You will be addicted to it once you use it. This little bitty jar, yeah, I know it's a tiny little jar, so this little bitty jar will last you about four months. Uh, you use very little product, and it will come with, so when you undo this, the lid, there is an inner lid. Always keep your inner lids on any products because that is to help with the air. When our products hit air, they will lose potency. So you want to get your product out, put your lid back on, and keep it sealed tight to keep the air from diluting it so i just you saw how little i used i just did a top tiny bit and you go around the orbital bone basically where your eye socket is so you go around the orbital bone and the thing of it is is your skin will heat the cream so as your skin heats the cream just think like melting butter or whatever so any you know how it does it will run then so as your skin heats the cream it will move and it will move to the areas you want it to go whether it's down here for the crepiness which I used to have very hooded crepey eyes and when I put on my makeup I would have to pull it to the side to get down in the valleys of the crepiness because we're made little folds that is no longer an issue I used to have really bad crow's feet I am 58 years old no crow's feet Unless you smile, and when you smile, that's where you get those lines. But if I'm not smiling, you can see they're gone. That's way too close for comfort, but anyway. So eye cream, you use it consistently with any product. You have to give it a little time, and you have to use it consistently. End of story. Now we come to step four. The step four in all reverse is going to be your sunscreen this one is a spf 50. now i used to use this when i very first used only reverse but then since i normally use reverse of the morning and redefine at night i will have now got where i use the am cream from my redefine line it has an spf of 30 so it's not as much but i can i can use either way I can use step four, step three, whatever I want to do, but normally I will use step three. And you just take out a small amount, pea size again, and put it on your hand and rub it all over your face. Down your neck, because you never want to miss your neck either. If you're using your eye cream, Eye cream means that it's formulated to be gentle enough to go around your eyes. That does not mean that's the only place you can use it. You can use your eye cream around your lips. You can use it on your 11s or 111s or whatever you might have. You can use it anywhere. So just because it's eye cream doesn't mean that it has to only be used in the eyes. Anyway, that's my routine. I am done. Time to put on my makeup and do my hair and get ready to meet the day. Thank you guys. Thank you girls for uh, watching the video and for making suggestions. If there's anything you would like to have me do, if I can, I will try to do that. I know I'll try to do my nighttime routine, maybe later on tonight, and see you later. Bye.